Now we're going to take some of these organic molecules, uh, could be uh, aliphatics or aromatics, and we're going to put onto them some derivative groups, uh, or derive some other types of groups. Now, the major ones that we're going to concentrate on, because in Alberta chemistry, in chemistry 30, grade 12 chemistry, we concentrate on three types of hydrocarbon derivatives. We do alcohols, carboxylic acids, and esters, although there's some other ones that I will mention a little bit later. But first, alcohols, and how to name them. Well, they end in all, right? So, if you have that group right there, which is a meth, and it used to be methane, but we've just put an alcohol group on it, OH, by the way, that OH is going to make virtually, virtually all of these alcohols polar in nature. That means, not only are they polar, but when one molecule of an OH type of bond here comes together with another molecule of the same type, you're going to get hydrogen bonding as the intermolecular force. What that means is this. Alcohols are going to have very strong intermolecular bonding, which means they're going to have very high boiling and melting points. Remember, methane has a boiling point of around negative 184 degrees Celsius. How much higher is it when you make methanol? By the way, that's the name. So it's methane, right? Drop the E, add all, and it's methanol. That sucker boils at around 70, I think it's 76 or 74, probably well, one of the two, degrees Celsius. So we've got an increase of almost 100 degrees in boiling point. And that's how much stronger the intermolecular force is when you have one of these molecules attracted to another. Oh, and what's the name going to be if we do this? Well, methanol was wood alcohol. Nasty stuff. You'd never want to drink that stuff. But this, that's okay. Because that's not methanol at all. <laughs> this is going to be ethanol. And that is grain alcohol. That's the stuff that you can drink. Not to excess. Now, over here, you look at this one, you say, well, I got it, no problem, that's propanol. Well, yeah, you're right, except that OH group could be at the first carbon instead, and that would be a propanol proper, a proper propanol. But what's this one when the OH is secondarily attached, where you have hydrogen up here, but the rest over here on either side? When you attach an OH group into the middle of a chain, you got to tell where it is. So this is going to be, now you can say, well, it's a, it's a, it all's at the 2. So really, it's going to be propan. Now, because we're going to, we can just, we can, because we're going to follow this with a, a vowel at the all at the end, we're going to have to put an E at the end. So it's propan, and it's going to be 2 all. Sounds kind of funny, but that's what it is, because the all is at the 2 of that propane molecule. Okay, so now, um, what's this? <laughs> okay, so what we've got here is we've got an alcohol group here at the, well, what's the longest continuous chain? That's what we have to find out. One, two, three, four. That's a, that's a chlorine, not a carbon. So it's four here. One, two, three, four, five there. Tricky. Yeah, tricky. So that means then that the longest continuous chain is here. That means this is a branch. That's like a branch too, isn't it? And so is that. So now we've got to name everything that's on this what? On this pentane, right? So it's going to be, but it's not a pentane. Wait, because it's got an OH group in it, on it. So it's a pentanol. Where's the all? It's at the, now wait, it's either going to be at the 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. So it's going to be at the 3, or it's going to be at the 3, going this way. So it doesn't matter. But since the chlorine here, which is the next most important kind of branch, is at this end, I would start at that end right over there. Doesn't necessarily make a difference, but that's the best end to start. So we're going to go 1, 2, 3. So we're going to say that that's a pentan 3 all. That's how you name it. Where now? What's the lowest complexity branch that we have? The methyl. What's it on? It's also on the 3. So it's a 3 hyphen methyl hyphen. And what's over here on the 1? That's the chloro. So it's a 1 chloro pentan 3 all. 
And that's what the name of that one would be right there. Hopefully that's kind of integrated everything you need to know there about the alcohols. By the way, that's called a primary alcohol. Because the OH group is at the end of the molecule. This is called a secondary alcohol. Because this right here and this right here are carbon pieces that we'll call the rest. Sometimes you'll see them abbreviated R's. And there's a hydrogen up here. That's called a secondary alcohol. When you have, right here, attached to this carbon here, uh, for this OH here, you have a, a, a rest here, the rest over here, and then not a hydrogen up top, but the rest here, where you've got this carbon attached to a bunch of other carbons. That's called a tertiary alcohol. 